Hello, and today we're going to read Monster Manners by Joanne Cole and illustrated by Jared Lee. Monster Manners. Rosie Monster looked like a perfect little monster. She had nice strong teeth and sharp little claws and green eyes that glowed in the dark. Rosie had just one problem. She was always forgetting her monster manners. Monsters are supposed to fight with their friends and break each other's toys. Rawr! Rosie played nicely with everyone. This made her mother very unhappy. Rosie's playing nicely with everyone. Monsters are supposed to growl loudly when they answer the phone. Grrr! Rosie always forgot and said hello in a polite voice. Her father found this very upsetting. Monsters are supposed to chew up rocks to show how fierce they are. Mmm, good, yummy. After one bite, Rosie would stop crunching and run for her toothbrush. She didn't like the way the bits of rock got stuck between her teeth. One day, when the family was out walking, Rosie even helped an old man cross the street. You don't look as if you're 99. Thank you. Her mother and father shook their heads. I'm afraid Rosie will never learn, said her father. How will she get along in the world? asked her mother. Poor child. While they were talking, Rosie's best friend, Prunella, came by. You have good manners, Prunella, said Rosie. Will you teach me? Sure, said Prunella. Buzz off. What a gal. And so Prunella came over to give Rosie some lessons. Ready? Ready. The first lesson was making monster faces. Prunella showed Rosie how to make monster face number one. Arr! Monster face number two. Arr! Monster face number three. Arr! And monster face number four. Arr! Then it was Rosie's turn. She tried she tried monster face number one. Hmm? Then mon then number two. Huh? Number three. Mm -hmm. And number four. Ooh. That's terrible, said Prunella. Let's try something else. Maybe you're better at table manners. May I see the menu, please? Don't say please, Rosie. Prunella took Rosie to a restaurant and ordered lunch. How gross. Oh, everyone fainted when Prunella started to eat. What a horrible sight. Rosie forgot her monster manners as usual. She used her napkin and her fork and spoon. And when she asked Prunella to pass the salt, she forgot, a, she forgot again and said, please. Prunella was angry. You're not even trying, she said. Prunella decided to give Rosie one more chance. This time we will practice our visiting manners, she said. We'll drop in on my uncle Ned. Prunella behaved perfectly for a monster. First, she rang the doorbell 10 times without stopping. Ding, 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 ding even when she heard her uncle say, come in. Ding, 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 ding. Then Prunella knocked so hard the door fell down. She went inside and jumped up and down on her uncle's favorite chair. She spilled a vase of flowers on the rug. Clank. And finally, she stepped very hard on Uncle Ned's foot. Uncle Ned was proud of Prunella. Good. But Rosie said, how do you do? 
and sat quietly on the sofa. Uncle Ned was horrified. He asked Prunella to take her friend home until she could learn better manners. Prunella threw up her hands. I did my best, Rosie, she said. I can't do any more. Rosie just won't learn. Rosie hung her head and followed Prunella. For the first time, Rosie realized how unhappy she had made everyone. And now she felt unhappy too. When Rosie and Prunella got to the monster house, they saw a big mess. A pipe had broken and water was pouring everywhere. Help, cried Rosie, we're getting flooded. Rosie's mother and father came running. Rosie's mother called the plumber and growled into the phone. The plumber hung up. Grrr, click. Rosie's father called and roared into the phone. The plumber hung up harder. Grrr, click. The plumber will not answer the phone. Brunella tried too, but the same thing happened. Click. They were getting nowhere and the water was getting deeper. They really need that plumber. Something had to be done and Rosie did it. Without thinking, she dialed the phone and said in a nice voice, hello, we have a leak at the monster's house. Can you come over please? I'll be right there, said the plumber. Thank you, said Rosie. Mm. So Rosie's very good at talking on the phone. After the plumber had left and everything was back to normal, Rosie's mother turned to Rosie's father. You know, dear, she said, Rosie's strange manners do come in handy sometimes. And now Rosie's happy. We're lucky to have her, said Rosie's father, strange manners and all. They gave Rosie a hug and a kiss and sent her out to play. Mind your manners, dear, called Rosie's mother from the window. I will, mother, answered Rosie. Rosie saved the day. Okay. Well, that was Monster Manners. And I think it's a very funny story. If you want to borrow the book, you can borrow it from me, from my library, or you can find it uh, at your local library. And if you want to read more books with me, you can check out one of the videos. And if you really like it, then you can give a like and subscribe. Okay, bye everybody. See you next time.